The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. Dr. Tom Rosell Live, right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, live in studio, waiting to take your calls on virtually anything you'd like to talk about. As long as it's your health, we talk about it without drugs, without surgery. Got a special program for you today, and you know this is one that we try to position. And in our office at the Rosell Center for Healing, we have ongoing, continuing in-house educational programs, and this is one of them. In studio today, I have a very special guest, Dr. Kirsten West. She's a newbie to our practice, but not newbie to the profession. We're delighted to uh, finally have a female doc to break up the testosterone levels in our practice, and you know she's uh, the perfect match for that. It's uh, we were happily uh, that uh, delighted that she said yes to us and came into this uh, not only into the studio today, but into our practice. She's been with us for about 30 days or so, and. Uh, an expert in something called clinical kinesiology. We'll talk a little bit about that. But the program we're going to talk about today is limiting neck, shoulder, and arm pain. And, you know, so many of you are suffering from pain that you've been told to live with or you're taking medications for or you say, you know, ultimately you have to have surgery because it's coming from your neck. Well, what we want to position is that isn't necessarily true. And we want you to be able to understand that there is an out, there's a way of fixing it, there's a way of turning this around without the traditional interventions. And, you know, wouldn't it be nice to wake up in the morning with your hands not numb or having to turn over in the middle of the night or going to grab something and, and you actually have some strength or the, the pain is gone? Well, that's the topic. But in the meanwhile, give us a call at 888-630-9625. That's 888 630 and, you know, when we're here in the studio, you can always call us if you'd like to get us when we're not here. Uh, that's real simple, too. Call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Or simply go to rosellecare.com and send us a note. We'll get back to you. One of the docs uh, will happily talk to you on any subject that, uh, that you have in your mind and clear up any of the mis- uh, misconceptions that you might have. Having said that, and you know, beleaguering the uh, the issue way too long, uh, I'd like to introduce Dr. Kirsten West. Dr. West, welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live and to the Rosell Center for Healing. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Hey, listen, it's uh, you know, it's time. You have to be baptized, and you know, like everybody <laughs> else is in our practice. Uh, but seriously, you know, we're we're delighted to have you, uh, Dr. West. Give us a little bit of a background. You know. Uh, you're not from the Washington metropolitan area. You you know you practiced uh, outside of this area for quite some time, and I was lucky enough to cast the net wide enough to pick you up. Yeah, absolutely. So I actually grew up um, in the Blue Ridge Mountain area of North Carolina. Um, the past three years, as you mentioned, I practiced in Greenville, South Carolina, using applied kinesiology, which I'm sure we'll touch on in a little bit. Um, and you kind of reached out, and I just love the opportunity. So I'm excited to be up here and joining your team. Well, you know, you come from a beautiful country. I, mean, I do, that's, yes. That's <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous area. You know, I've been in the Washington uh, area since uh, the summer of 1985, and I have yet to get into that area. I've yet to get to Asheville, North Carolina, and you know, it's just spectacular country. I've seen pictures of it, and I've flown in and out of different areas, but other than maybe Charlottesville, I've never been there, so you're going to have to fill me in and get me there. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, uh, you went to uh, uh, chiropractic school because you're a chiropractor. Where'd you go to school? Logan University, and that's located in Chesterfield, Missouri, about 30 minutes outside of St. Louis. Got some great friends out of that school. I get in and out of there quite often and mm-hmm. teach down there. Uh, it's an amazing city. It's It has its own little vibration to it. And I was very taken, you know, when we were down in St. Louis the last time, uh, that, you know, there was such an academic 
uh, platform, not only to the school that you went to at Logan, but uh, the in, uh, the entire uh, area is is uh, is like that. It, yes. It's uh, it's humming, and that's a cool place. By the way, let's uh, let's get into um, a little bit. You you've studied applied kinesiology. You've studied some clinical kinesiology, and a lot of our our listeners right now, even though that they've heard me talk about it for years and years and years, and they're going to say uh, uh, applied what clinical who. Uh, tell us just in a kind of a, a snippet what what that really means. What that's all about. Yeah, so applied kinesiology is basically the use of muscle testing um, to kind of figure out what's going on with your body. So a lot of the muscles correlate to a certain area of the spine or a certain organ. So we can kind of check a take a look at what's going on inside by testing some muscles from the outside. You know, people are going to say, what? How, muscles on the outside relate to the inside? Well, it's really simple. You have a brain spinal cord. You have 31 pairs of nerves that come off the spine. The nerves divide. And one branch of those uh, that neurological distribution goes goes inside, it hooks up to the organ system. Another branch goes outside, hooks up to the muscle. And so you have a constant communication going on. You know, it's, uh, it's one of those things that uh, when your knee hurts, it can be from, you know, the nervous system, not because you twisted your knee, but because the muscle's weak. But that muscle could be weakened simply because there is something going on inside your body that's reflecting outside. And it's a hard concept to understand. Yes, you know, you know uh, particularly in today's uh, you know today's healthcare arena, you know, you fix where the pain is and not necessarily fix where the pain is actually coming from, and that's the difference of what we do. Yes, absolutely. So, what's the difference in clinical kinesiology? Um, clinical kinesiology, you go a little bit more in depth, um, talking about different um, substances that you can place on the body to um, test different muscles to see if they kind of correlate to the different substances versus um, just kind of checking out structural things. So in clinical kinesiology, again, to differentiate and to apply properly which, mm -hmm. what you're talking about, uh, simply clinical kinesiology is the use of uh, energetic platforms in the body, if you will, acupuncture points and so forth, entry points, and stimulating them with certain substances to see if it has an effect one way or the other, neurologically or through neuromuscle function testing and so forth. And it's it's an interesting area. It's, and actually, it's a spinoff of applied kinesiology. Mm -hmm. There was a guy by the name of Alan Beardall who was the guy that took it from uh, AK or applied kinesiology and then put it into the realm of clinical kinesiology. Ellen's no longer with us, unfortunately, and brilliant, brilliant practitioner, and really set the stage for some interesting things. You know, one of the things, and I've told you that repetitively, when uh, the biggest contribution that Dr. Beardall made to the work that we do is he showed that muscles had to be tested as the patient actually was. And what that means that, you know, you just don't do it in one position, you do it in multiple positions and you fractionate the muscle fibers in a way that you can actually find out what happens. You know that I treat a lot of NFL players mm -hmm. and these guys are so powerful, it doesn't take much for them to adapt to an injury pattern. So you can't let them adapt, you have to really put the muscle into an exact pattern of how they hurt it and if you don't do it that way, you never find it, and subsequently you can't fix it, and then they have injuries that are going going on from that. Let's get into the program a little bit. Uh, more importantly, you know, this uh, coming Wednesday evening, the 21st, uh, at 7 p.m. at the Rizal Center for Healing, you're going to do a presentation on eliminating, and we're not just talking about how to find it, where it's coming from, but how to eliminate, you know, neck, shoulder, arm pain. And that's critical. You know, if people are there, I say, yeah, I know I got pain and I'm taking these meds, but here's an opportunity. You have an opportunity to really find out how to eliminate the problem. Dr. Kirsten West, my guest in studio, your host this Wednesday evening at the Rizal Center for Healing. And we're going to be talking about eliminating neck and shoulder pain. So let's, let's start from the beginning. Neck and shoulder pain has, I would imagine, multiple, multiple uh, causes for his presentation. Yes, absolutely. Let's talk about them. All right. Um, well, first off, um, some people are familiar with kind of the structural components of the neck. If you're not, um, you have seven vertebrae and eight nerves that come out 
from your neck. A lot of times with structural issues, you can have um, pain that goes down the arm. Most of the time, that pain can kind of be reproduced with any particular movement in the neck. Then you can also dive a little bit deeper, and if it's a different type of pain, which is a more deep pain, um, then sometimes it can actually be organ-related. Some patterns for organs, um, gallbladder in particular, um, sends a referred pain to the right shoulder area. So a lot of times people can kind of um, get confused thinking they have just a structural issue when um, realistically they might have something going on with the liver or the gallbladder. So you have to differentiate pain is not pain is not pain. Correct. So, you know, you're talking about organ referral. And the, the most common organ referral pain that most people, you know, get really nervous about that goes into the arm under the shoulder, since you brought that up, is heart pain. Right, so in this, it's left-sided pain. Not always, by the way, but and when you talk about gallbladder pain, when I was in school, I had a professor that said, you know, when you uh, think about digestive function problems, look for the heart. When you see heart problems, look for the digestive function problems. But how do you differentiate? How do you know that it's not a heart problem? How do you know that this neck, arm, shoulder problem that the patient's presenting isn't a chronic? you know, internal visceral heart related situation. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of times the structural injuries or structural, I guess, pain, you could say, stimulates from some sort of injury, whether that's a major injury or even just a micro um, type injury, um, such as posture um, and posture in particular, whenever you um, start developing bad habits within posture, they develop kind of micro injuries and allow for your posture to not be as normal as so um, usually it should be, I guess. Well, you know, when a patient comes in and they complain of this chronic ache, and one of the things that I'll ask them as well is, you know, is it posturally related? It means mm -hmm. when you change and you shift posture patterns, does the pain go away? Or does it make it better? Or does it get it worse? And that's one of the flags that we normally see that you see, you know, in, in patients that present with these types of things. You can have arm um, just a deep aching pain and it can affect all kinds of other systems so the the pain can reflect into the heart to the lungs and so forth but we have to differentiate that we have to be able to make it different you know hand tingling and numbness are one of those things as well that uh, show up uh, that are a result of that uh, pain pattern so the thing that we have to have patients understand and people understand is that the neurology of the body the brain the spinal cord the nerves that come off they are the conductors. They, they're the ones that perceive pain. They're the ones that often, when they're injured, will initiate pain. You know, today we're seeing you know people being uh, dealt. Uh, they deal with pain with huge amounts of opioids, and I want to touch upon that in the second uh, uh, part of the program as well. Uh, the opioid crisis in, in this country is so out of control, and it was started, unfortunately, by the medical profession back in the early 2000s and thinking that this was a way to eliminate all kinds of, of problems. My guest in studio, Dr. Kristen West. She will be your host, your presenter, this Wednesday evening, the 21st of March at the Results Center for Healing, 7 p.m. If you'd like to attend, all you got to do is call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Or simply go online, go to ruleshealthcare.com, and you'll see the uh, the ad for the class as part of our in-house continuing education program. And hit the button that says register here, and just make that happen. And remember, we have limited capacity, so once that's filled, it's done, and we're going to have to say, I'm sorry. So do it today right after the program, or if you're sitting there next to your computer, listen us do it right now and, and uh, make that take place. Uh, we're going to uh, touch on a couple quick things, and then we're going to uh, take a break. But when a patient comes in and they're complaining of neck pain, neck and shoulder pain, uh, there's acute and chronic pain patterns. Correct. Right? And they, but they can uh, present similarly. How do you begin to differentiate it? And I'm going to give you a minute to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute. Just a minute. Um, so acute pain, usually um, there's some sort of injury or trauma that occurs. Um, it could kind of happen insidious, which means that basically you wake up one morning and you basically have the pain and no reason um, that you can think of as to why it occurred. Um, most of the time, acute pain it tends to go away quicker than chronic pain. Chronic pain tends to kind of stick around, um, and you have to 
try to figure out, okay, what is the underlying meaning? I want to get back, and I'm going to let you uh, expand on that because we're coming up to a break. My guest in studio, Dr. Kirsten West, a new addition to the Roselle Center for Healing, a happy addition, I might add. We'll be right back. You're listening to Dr. Tom Roselle Live. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rozell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rozell live in studio. And my guest today is Dr. Kirsten West. She'll be your host, your presenter at the Rozell Center for Healing this Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. And she's going to be talking about eliminating, getting rid of chronic and acute neck and shoulder pain. Wouldn't it be nice not to have your neck and your shoulders hurt and your arms go numb all the time and that feeling where you've lost your strength in your hands? All those are part of you know, those things that come from your neck. And we have to differentiate them. We have to make the difference between when did it happen, how long ago was it, is it something that just took place, and then differentiate it, as we talked about in the first part of the program, can it be an organic problem as well? And then how do we know that it's not a real crisis situation? We'll talk about it in the second half of the program, in addition to things like neuropathic pain or diabetic neuropathy. Dr. West, I cut you short just before the break, and uh, you were differentiating for us the difference between acute and chronic pain and, you know, how to decide, you know, and I'm going to lead you into it, what to do about it at that point. So let's jump back into that and, you know, pick up where we left off. Yes, absolutely. So um, as I was mentioning before the break, um, acute pain often um, is kind of preceded by some sort of injury or trauma, or it can also be insidious, which means that you kind of wake up in the morning and um, something just doesn't feel right. Most of the time, acute pain also um, is a little bit more severe than the chronic type pain that um, some people kind of experience. Um, chronic pain um, most of the time can kind of be um, like a dull ache um, and also it, it typically lasts a lot longer than the acute pain situations. Chronic pain patterns are what we see so much of. I mean people we know when people get hurt and there was there's a car accident. We'll touch upon that a little bit in the second half of the program as well. Somebody gets a, a rear end collision or a side collision they're t-boned and they don't have pain immediately. They're sore, they're stiff, and it kind of goes away in a tolerable fashion because now they're taking meds for it, they're taking muscle relaxers. But then three months, six months, nine months, a year later, all of a sudden pain shows up and they forgot that they had the car accident or they didn't think the car accident that was that severe because they weren't hospitalized. And But now this underlying situation. But in chronic pain, where the pain is just insidious, it's ugly, it's aching, it's there, they can't sleep, they have to sleep in the recliner, they have to prop up pillows, and they're moving from one place to the other all night long trying to get sleep, they're popping pills, and now they're going to the heavy drugs, they're going to the codeines, they're going to the opioids, and we've, we've got a mess on our hands. These chronic pain patterns, how do you, one, determine what the, the underlying triggering mechanism is, where it's coming from, and then we're going to get into later on, we're going to get into, let's, how do we fix these things? Yeah, absolutely. So um, right, right off the bat, you kind of have to be able to di differentiate whether or not it's um, an organ-based chronic pain that we, that we touched on earlier or if it's just a structural type pain. Um, a lot of the chronic pain um, that you hear about now is can actually be stimulated from degeneration in the neck. So, you know, is degeneration normal? No, absolutely not. But a lot of the chronic pain that people feel can come from degeneration. And that in and of itself kind of leads people to go to the doctor's office and th then they are prescribed um, some sort of anti-inflammatory drug and then just a vicious cycle keeps kind of occurring from that. So that begs the question, in a degenerative spinal condition, is it something that just happens or is it something that is a result of something over a period of time or is it you know life just says it's your turn here's degeneration you got arthritis because that's what arthritis is is degenerative joints what's the deal with that yeah so degeneration um, isn't something that just you know you wake up one morning and you have degeneration it's kind of a repetitive I guess misalignment of the spine that can cause um, restriction and range of motion um, and that restriction and range of motion and that misalignment leads to basically your body adapting um, day in day out to that um, decreased range of motion or that kind of small misalignment of the spine and the way that the um, body kind of adapts to that is um, either you know 
um, laying down a little bit more bone to kind of adapt to it, or your disc space in general can't recover, and so you continue to lose height within the vertebra. Yeah, I know that personally. After a couple <laughs> of very major car accidents and so forth, I've shrunk up a little bit and because I have degenerative disease. So in a personal situation, what I want people to know is that just because there's garbage in the spine, degenerative uh, processes there, these are things that can be resolved and turned around, correct? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, you, we're gonna, we have a few more uh, seconds here before we have to take a break, but degenerative spinal problems are arthritis, correct? Yes. Okay, and you don't have to take medication to fix it. No. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to hold you to that point when we come okay. back after the break because I want to get into that as well a little bit more because people think, oh my God, I've got arthritis, I've got arthrosis, there's nothing I can do about it. They go to the physician and these aren't bad guys, but this is standard of care and they give a drug, they give a medication, the pain's so bad, they give an opioid and now we've got this vicious cycle that eats them up. We're coming up to a break, and we have to pay attention to those people who bring you Dr. Tom Rosal live in studio. My guest, your host this Wednesday evening, the 21st of the month, Dr. Kristen West, a new addition to the Rosal Center for Healing, but not a new addition to practice. We'll be right back. Dr. Tom Rosal live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio. My guest today, Dr. Kirsten West, and she will be your host, your presenter at the Rosell Center for Healing. This coming Wednesday evening, the 21st, we're going to be talking about eliminating, getting rid of chronic and acute neck and shoulder pain. And by the way, this can go into your arms and your hands and numbness and so forth. And I want to touch upon that a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit about diabetic neuropathy and the differentiation be between the types of pains because you have this neuropathic pain, you've got chronic pain, you have acute pain, and they kind of all tie together. But the thing it is, pain is not just pain, it's not just pain. There's different things and you have to approach them differently. Dr. West, again, welcome to the program. Welcome Thank to Dr. Thomas Alive. And more importantly, I'm delighted. I couldn't be happier that you're part of our team at the Result Center for Healing. And it gives us a little different dimension, as uh, you know, a lot of my st staff would say, Thank God we finally got somebody smart. We've got a woman in the practice that you know, <laughs> they can handle and, pu and put the fire out with all the testosterone in the practice. But it's, it's truly a pleasure, and, and we're delighted to have you with us. Um, Let's talk a little bit about going back to uh, where we left off just before the, the in the second half of the or the first half of the program. We started to make the differentiation between structural misalignment and breakdown, loss of motion, leading to what we call arthritis or arthrotis, dege uh, degenerative disease of the spine. And there was a reason for that, right? And you were about to talk about something called, and I'm going to throw the word out there to begin with, spinal subluxation. Right. Which is a misalignment of the spine. Let's talk about that a little bit. What is that really? You know, the chiropractic profession have these words called subluxation. And, you know, I try to tell patients that means like a small uh, dislocation. or It's actually just a misalignment, but it causes the joint space not to move. Right. Why is that impactful? It's impactful for numerous reasons. So like I touched on earlier, um, a subluxation that is not corrected can lead to de degenerative changes. Um, but short term wise, even just a minor uh, misalignment, as you said, can put some pressure on a nerve that disrupts communication through other parts of your body. Um, and as you mentioned earlier as well, um, that communication goes, you know, one kind of segment goes to the muscle and then one muscle or one segment also goes to the organ. Um, and so if you disrupt that communication, um, it can lead to issues. So we have a nerve that's coming out between bones and the spine Correct. called vertebrae, right? And if these bones misalign in a way, they can cause the nerve to have irritation pressure in some way or an overstretch reaction. Mm -hmm. And that irritation, that overstretch, that loss of function within the joint space now causes the nerve to miscommunicate. Is that best said that way? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So now wherever that nerve is going, whether it's the organ system or whether it's the muscle, we have a loss of function or we have pain. Yes. Okay. So now we have what a subluxation is. And by the way, the osteopaths call that same process a spinal lesion. And But it's been in the literature for not just decades, but for millennium. 
and it's it's the same productive thing. You could have loss of strength, you could have weakness, you could have numbness, you could have pain, uh, all because of that misalignment. But over a period of time, what takes place is that you have this erosion, this wear and tear. Now you've got a chronic problem, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay. so let's walk us through it. You have a spinal subluxation, and it's due to a lot of things. Let's talk about those a lot of things. Let's talk about the mechanical process. Yeah, so... Typically, when you get a spinal subluxation, um, like we mentioned earlier, it's just a small deviation um, of the actual vertebra. It can come from just kind of everyday wear and tear, um, not being aware of your posture. It can also come from um, certain injuries um, to where people don't even technically know they have a subluxation after a certain injury. So, a rear end car accident, sitting in front of the television and your head bobs forward. Mm -hmm. That can cause it? Yes. Wow. And sleeping on your stomach with your head turned? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Being propped up with too many pillows? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're talking about things that are day-to-day, -day, things that we do all the time. And, you know, you fall, you bump your head into something. All of those things can cause a problem. So here's the, the person that has these subluxation patterns, and now there's lack of function or motion within the spinal system, neck and shoulders, right? and we have loss of capacity or we have pain. Good. All right, so here's the deal. If you have this loss of function and you have this long-term arthrosis, this degenerative change, can it be fixed? Yes. I mean, unfortunately, the, the way that you present to the office, the already... Um, I guess, degenerative changes that are present in the spine. We can't necessarily reverse um, what's already happened, but we can prevent further degeneration from happening. And one of the reasons um, that we tend to do that is because it can actually um, help the person and decrease their pain by restoring um, their normal range of motion, restoring the pain within the, the degenerative aspect. Well, here's a patient sitting listening to the program right now. They're going to say, well, you're going to decrease the pain, but I still have to take medication. Is that true? Or is, can, can you get them to the place where the, the pain's gone and get rid of the medication? Absolutely. So a lot of times with a medication, um, you are provided some sort of anti-inflammatory um, drug, NSAIDs um, in particular, or if it's, you know, to the point where it's you know, bugging you and you have to go the pain medicine route, a lot of people are kind of diving into the pain medicine route as well, which you said you touched on earlier about the opioid crisis um, in America. But the, the bottom line is, yes, you absolutely can, um, I guess, differentiate whether or not you want to go the typical um, medicine route or if you want to try alternative things such as um, alternative anti-inflammatory um, herbs as well as chiropractic to restore that um, kind of range of motion on top of the herbs will also kind of decrease the inflammation. You know, the interesting piece is, and I've been in practice like forever, my son will tell you since, you know, the dinosaurs ruled the earth, but the, the, the situation is, is this, I've seen so many cases of spinal degeneration, arthrosis, treated properly, they can be reversed. And 100%, in a perfect world, the answer is yes, but we, we don't live in a perfect world. So what you're doing is you're opening up the joint space, you're getting the nerve to fire properly, you're, putting, uh, you're getting space back in, you're decreasing the inflammatory response by changing many things. In our work in applied kinesiology, you truly look at three areas that you have to deal with. You have to look at injury patterns, you have to look at biochemistry, things that are incoming, diet, things that you should be eating, things that you don't eat, things that, you know, that are bad for you that were put in which cause inflammatory actions and emotional stress patterns. So you have to look at them all together. And so you're dealing with a patient that has a symptom, and in this case, we're dealing with neck, shoulder, arm pain, and but you can begin to truly eliminate the process that is eating itself, if you will, continuing to pr uh, produce a, a problem. Talk about that a little bit more. Yeah, so a lot of times with um, chronic pain, um, it's really important to get to the underlying cause of it. Um, and a lot of times when you go to the doctor, even if you get to the point where you feel like you need some sort of medication, um, going to the doctor, they don't necessarily get to the underlying cause of what's going on. They, like you mentioned, they treat the symptoms. Um, and so that's why a lot of times when you go, they're really quick to kind of prescribe that um, NSAID or certain pain medicine. 
In studio, Dr. Kirsten West, a new addition to the Results Center for Healing, but not a new addition to practice. And she's going to be talking about the elimination, getting rid of neck, shoulder, arm pain, this Wednesday evening, the 21st at 7 p.m. at the Results Center for Healing. We want you to register now, today, because once we're full, we're full. All you need to do is call uh, 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Or simply go to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com and hit the button. It says register and do that and we'll confirm your seat and feel free to bring anybody with you. These in-house continuing education programs are our gift to the community. There's absolutely no charge for them, but we do require a reservation. So make that happen. Give us a call, and we will be delighted to help you. And Dr. West will be there to answer your questions before and after the program. I think you're going to find her very knowledgeable and extremely delightful. I know we do, and we're delighted that uh, she is with us. You know, we talked a little bit about the uh, the medication that people so let's go to the easy ones, the aspirins, the NSAIDs, the non steroidal anti-inflammatories, the Advil, the Motrin, Tylenols, and so forth. What people have to understand about those medications is they actually make the problem worse because they compete in the joint spaces with something called a sulfate ion, which actually allows the joint to heal. So now the sulfate ion can't get to the joint because it's being competed with by the medication and it causes that joint space to worsen, even though it's killed the, the pain or modified the pain and having to take more and more to do the same thing, the joint now becomes worse. It becomes further degenerative and now you have a real problem that goes down. Now the other thing with NSAIDs, and people have to understand, that if they're taking aspirin, even aspirin therapies, they're gonna make you know for their heart, which if you're gonna to talk to me, sh uh, they should eliminate most of those things forever. Uh, but that causes the joint space to break down, and if you have a little misalignment, now you have a ma major problem. But also, any of these NSAIDs, these aspirin-like products, actually cause cardiac failure because they take away the levels of coenzyme Q10 out of the heart, also the brain, by the way. So we have this vicious cycle that builds up, but we're not talking about heart problems today. We're not talking about brain problems today. We're talking about pain patterns coming from the neck, shoulder, and arms. So let's go into that one piece. We want to talk a little bit about neuropathic pain, and we have a couple of minutes to do that. So a patient who's diabetic can have foot pain, but they can have hand pain too. They can have numbness in their hands. How do you distinguish between uh, one that's coming from the spine and one that's neuropathic? Yeah, so pain that's coming from the spine, um, most of the time we can actually reproduce that pain. Um, and typically it's kind of isolated to one area, even though it does travel down the arm when we're talking about the neck, um, it's still kind of isolated to the upper body, so to speak. With diabetic um, nerve pain, like you mentioned, you get kind of areas all over the body, whether it's the foot, whether it's the hand, whether that's the arm, that you feel numbness tingling in. Um, and so it's kind of all over the place as opposed to just a particular area. When a patient presents and says, you know, Doc, my, my hands are numb and, you know, I, I have a loss of sensation and, you know, that's what they come in with and they've got some general aching in the arm and shoulders. Could they have both problems? Could they have neck and shoulder problems and uh, a diabetic condition, a neuropathic condition together? Yes, they absolutely can. Um, and the key with that is to dive kind of deep into their history and figure out what other symptoms they have. With diabetic nerve pain, they're going to have a lot of other symptoms, not just structural symptoms. So the key is to really dive in um, with the patient and get a thorough history about kind of what's been going on in the past several years. There's so many patients that come in, particularly in today's world, that their diets are horrible. They haven't taken care of themselves. Their stress levels are up. They're taking medications. They're on, they're on metformin or other types of diabetic drugs. And I mean, there's clues there. But the point of it is, is that these things will add to the structural pain, and the structural pain will make the other worse as well. And we have to be very careful in distinguishing the the identity of both because you have to treat them similarly but differently to stimulate the body's capacity. My guest in studio, Dr. Kirsten West, she'll be your host this Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. at the Results Center for Healing. If you've got neck and shoulder pain, you want to know how to get rid of it, and that's the key. If you want to know how to get rid of this thing, here's an opportunity. 
Call the Rizal Center for Healing today, 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. And tell our staff that you'd like to attend or simply go online. Go to rosellcare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com. And hit the registration button and we'll make it happen. And you'll have the opportunity to meet Dr. West this Wednesday evening. And she will be delightful in her presentation. But more importantly, she'll help you figure out how to get rid of the problem. Coming up... We have to take a break. We're going to have to uh, get into that last piece of the program. We're going to talk about uh, what Dr. West is going to be doing. But more importantly, right now, we have to pay tribute to those guys who help Dr. Thomas L. bring it to you. We'll be right back. Don't go away. 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. We've been in the studio. My guest is Dr. Kirsten West, a new addition to the Rosell Center for Healing, but not new to practice. She's been at it for a while. She's a girl from South Carolina, straighten up, uh, straighten all of those Yankees up up here and, and making life uh, you know, a little bit more interesting. Uh, again, Dr. West, we're glad to have you with us. Thanks for having me. This Wednesday evening, you're going to be doing a program on eliminating neck, shoulder, and arm pain, and it's going to be an exciting program. There's so many people out there that live with this chronic, chronic problem. And unfortunately, it's uh, a problem that they don't know can go away, but it can go away. And this is an opportunity for them to uh, find out how to make that happen. I uh, want to get into a couple of little things. We talked a little bit about uh, diabetic neuropathy before we left, and we, you know, I mentioned that people who are on certain types of medications actually will make things much worse over a period of time. And we, you know, we touched on the fact that any of these degenerative conditions of the spine can cause these problems, but in fact that they can be resolved and can be turned around. Uh, best case, worst case. You know, best case scenario, you know, what happens with neck, shoulder, and arm pain, and worst case scenario, uh, what's the outcome? Do, you know, do you walk away from the case, or can a patient still be supported so you know they don't have uh, a further degenerative change. I'm going to leave that to you. I'm not going to feed you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So best case scenario um, is to get the person out of pain and to completely improve their, their daily life. Um, that's definitely the best case scenario. Um, I don't, I guess, necessarily like using the worst case scenario because I, I still feel like, you know, even as you said, if, you know, a person still is experiencing pain, but it's not as great as before. Or, you know, even if there's some sort of action that we can take to improve their daily life, I still consider that to, to be a win for, for the patient. Um, as far as the actual degenerative changes, if it's, if it's something that, you know, we can't fully get them out of pain, but we can still kind of decrease the pain. There are numerous things that we can do to help support their lifestyle, um, especially the inflammation component to it, whether that's through um, natural remedies, whether that's through diet, um, kind of all of the above. Let's get to what you're going to be doing Wednesday night. Why should anybody come to this class? What are you going to be doing? How, what are they? What are they? What kind of information are they going to get? What are they going to walk away with? Yeah, so I'm going to be basically presenting. Um, I'll start with you know just some basic anatomy, kind of get you um, familiar with kind of what's going on in your body as far as the muscles, the actual bones that we'll kind of be talking about, and then I'll also dive deep, um, kind of towards the end of the program about what I can actually do for the patient. And I think there are you know numerous avenues that we can take depending on the case. Um, and yeah, I look forward to meeting everyone that comes out and I'm looking forward to, to presenting. Tremendous opportunity, really, to find out what can be done about pain that just hasn't gone away. And, you know, to kind of recap a little bit, you know, neck and shoulder and arm pain can come about from so many different things. It can be an injury, injury could be very subtle, it could be a, a, a slow 15 mile an hour car accident, a rear end collision, a T-bone, and the head and neck were recoiled. And we didn't realize we had a problem until way later because the body adapts. body is a beautiful ability to compensate and adapt. And then slowly, subtly over time, well, I'll just take an aspirin. Uh, you know, it's not that bad. If I take a couple of aspirin, I'll be fine. Problem is, taking the aspirin and taking these things over extended periods of time causes the condition to worsen. It, it, it causes the joint space to continue to degenerate. But this Wednesday evening, I'm excited. I, I can't wait to, uh, to listen to you. Uh, it's going to be a, a fun presentation, and I promise I won't sit in the back and help you. I'll be outside the, the room and so forth. But, no, seriously, please, uh, 
you know, take the opportunity. If you've got problems like this that haven't gone away, find out what's going on in the spine. Find out what you can do about it. Find out if there is a path to resolution so you can get off of these, in many cases, these very serious narcotics. We're coming up to that time of the program, unfortunately, where we have to say adieu as we, you know, we got to make this program like about three and a half hours so we can cover everything that we want to do. So you call the bosses here at the station and say, you know, you want Dr. Tom Rizal live longer. We love you all. See you next week. Bye. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 38 years of practice and almost a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health Is, a Do-It-Yourself Program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is, a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Breast cancer is a major health risk to all women. It can silently grow uninterrupted for years. The Thermography Centers of Fairfax reminds all women to conduct monthly and annual breast exams. Consider a thermography scan from the Thermography Centers as an adjunct to your routine breast exams. Digital infrared thermal imaging is safe and non-invasive. For more information and to schedule an appointment, call 703-520-7591 or visit thermographycenters.com. Thank you.